Comedy Central. Please put together Melvin Williams, everybody. Melvin. <laughs> All righty, how we doing? Everybody good? Yeah. All right, thank you so much for clapping for me. Oh, so sweet. I know that's just some nice shit. Y'all don't know who the fuck I am. Y'all, I'm just, I'm just happy you didn't call security the way you looked at me. Like, who the hell is this big black, big black son bitch getting on stage? That's not, no. No, but how's everybody doing though, really? Like, I'm serious. Like, is everybody health wise? Are you good? Are we good? Yeah. No, because I'm serious. I'm still in that, in that mindset, man. We're getting over some shit, so I'm still in that mindset. Just so y'all know, I'm still counting coughs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's a four cough maximum in this son of a bitch tonight. You better believe it. <laughs> yeah, see? That four? <laughs> shit, I'm telling you, four coughs, that's a fucking death sentence in here tonight. I'm letting you know. The first two, hey, I'm going to let you have. One and two, you're good. By that third cough, hey, I already figured out where I'm buried in your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Better believe it. Yes, indeed, man. Seriously. I'm getting older, man. I'm realizing that, man. I'm, oh, man, things are different. I'm not as good as I used to be at certain stuff, man. Like sex, y'all can have it. <laughs> no, seriously. I, I'm, about to, I'm about to retire. I'm about to put it in my paper, sir. Like, you, I can have this shit, man. I remember I used to be good, man. Yeah. Yes, ma'am, me. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> I said I used to be good. She's like, you good? Like, yes, goddamn. Put some respect on my body, okay? <laughs> no, but man, I used to be good, man. I used to, oh man, I used to be like a sexy animal in the bear room, too. Like a sexy one, though. You know, like something sexy like a tiger or a puma or a cheetah, something sexy. And now I'm more like a walrus at that motherfucker. You know? <laughs> Just sweaty and slippery and making funny noises, uh, uh, you know? <laughs> Yeah, YouTube pictures and shit, it's terrible, it's terrible. Oh, man. Yeah, man. What are, what are, what are sports fans at? We got sports fans in here? Sports? What are, Bulls, Bears, what are we doing? Look, I know where I am. All right, oh, man, he about to get killed. Bucks, oh, my God. Trying to get killed over here, right? But no, seriously, man, I'm glad you guys said fans, though. You're good to be fans. I don't like fanatics. I don't, I don't like people to just go crazy, like where sports like affects their whole fucking mood. You know what I'm talking about? I can't stand those kind of people. Like, I'm talking about like where if their team loses, they're like, like, they're like sad, like all week. I'm not talking about regular sad. I'm talking about like deep, dark depression. Like, <laughs> like these some bitches just, I'm, I'm, I swear to God, it's the only time I've ever heard white people sing Negro spirituals. <laughs> No, y'all giggling, but they be way down up in here like, I, I, I know the Lord, and he heard my cry. I'm like, shut up, son of a bitch. They play next week. Okay? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Now that I've gotten older, man, I realize, you know, there's certain things I just don't, I don't allow anymore. Like, seriously. You get older, man, yeah, you pay the cost to be the boss. There's just certain shit that you don't do anymore. There's certain stuff I just have to change. Just have to, hey, that's the way it is. Like, for instance, like anybody that comes over to visit me, like in my house, you come to my crib and you visit, hey, you cannot use my fucking bathroom. <laughs> Serious, that's just, I'm sorry. It's just not gonna happen. You know, I'm telling you, man. You gotta make arrangements with the gas station on the corner. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta go. I'm talking about, you know that nasty ass bathroom at the gas station? The one where they got the key that's chained to a brick? <laughs> Sorry, you gotta use that. No, seriously, because people don't use proper bathroom etiquette. Yeah. Y'all don't know what bathroom etiquette is? I'm gonna let you know, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> bathroom etiquette is this. Okay, so if you come to visit me, and I don't even know you all that well. If we're not family, we're not nothing, you just come to visit. There's absolutely no way, no reason, that you're supposed to be dropping a stinky load in my bathroom. <laughs> Y'all understand, right? Like, you know, I don't know you that well. I don't want to fucking know you that well. <laughs> but man, certain people don't have any bathroom etiquette, man. I had a repair guy come over recently, man. He's a repair man. He's supposed to come and fix the washing machine and dryer. And he does that. Very good at what he does. Five minutes tops. He was done. But on the way out, he's like, hey, man, it's all right, it's all right if I use your bathroom. I'm like, okay, he did a good job, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking at the very least, he has proper bathroom etiquette, right? Oh, this son of a bitch didn't have no kind of etiquette. Oh. oh, I thought at the very least he was gonna tinkle. You know what I mean? Just tinkle, like I said. You can't even piss hard in my house. You're just supposed to tinkle, seriously. 
But no, this is something, oh man, ladies and gentlemen, hey, I'm talking about, I heard a Pearl Harbor reference earlier. Like, that's what the fuck he did to my bathroom. Oh, I'm talking about just tore my shit up. Hiroshima, you know what I mean? You ever walk in the bathroom and immediately, oh shit, wait a minute. I'm talking about immediately turn around? Oh man. I should have knew something was wrong when I saw him take the Bible in there. I was like, you gonna read the Bible while he's shooting? Up? Oh man, ladies, let me explain to you like how bad my bathroom was when I went in. I went in the bathroom, it looked like the shower curtains had been hinged at the fucking bottom. Like they had been burned, you understand what I'm saying? He knocked the goddamn Wyatt nice wallpaper, knocked the wallpaper off my shit. Tore my damn bathroom up, you understand? Oh my God, I had that uh, painting, you know the painting, dogs playing poker? I had that painting in my bathroom. I looked up, them some bitches had packed up the chips and fucking left. <laughs> oh man, yes indeed. Let's go ahead and get to the good shit though. Like, I see y'all kind of crowd y'all are. I've been using kid gloves thus far, but let's get to the good shit. Uh, any perverts in here? Any perverts? <laughs> Let's get right to it, goddamn. Don't leave me up here by myself. Thank you, Per. Yes, Per City, goddamn. Shit, I'm serious, man. Oh, hey, I think it's science, to be honest with you. The older you get, the more perverted you get. I just, you know what I'm saying? I find myself nowadays perving off of shit I'm not even supposed to perv off of, though. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like the whole breastfeeding thing. You guys are hip to that, right? Oh, you know where I'm going with this. Like the breastfeeding thing. Yeah. That's why they try to shame women. Ladies, you hip to this? They try to shame ladies for breastfeeding in public. You hear me? Yeah. They like, you know, that's a, such a, such something as natural as breastfeeding, they try to shame them. Like, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't be breastfeeding in public. No one wants to see that. You heard it? You should do that in the confines of your own home. I'm like, oh, wait, 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 motherfucker. Speak for your goddamn self. <laughs> Shit, I don't know about you, sir, but I'm all for a titty popping out in public. I'm sorry. <laughs> a titty popping out in public? Shit, that, yeah. Make, that, shit, titties make my day. I'm sorry. I told y'all, I love them. I love them all, too. Oh, my God. Like big, round, small, whatever. At this point in my life, I have become a titty connoisseur. You know, you know how somebody has a wine connoisseur? Like, oh, that's a nice 68 Chablanc. You know, they hold it up. That's me with titties, I hold them up, yes, I say yes. Oh my God, I love them all too, I'm telling you, I have no discrimination. I like the ones that's nice and little stand up and salute. You know, you know those, those nice young ones that stand up and salute, I like those too. But just as equally, I like the ones where as soon as you snap that goddamn bra, they fall right on the floor. <laughs> Not a problem for me, not a problem. Just dust that off, dust that off. Just that up the guy I want. Going right to work, you know what I mean? Oh man. I told y'all, so I'm getting older man. So I realize that. Been trying to, like I said, been, try, been trying to, you know, still, still do it. I, I, I can't, man. Y'all can have it, man. Remember your shit talking days, fellas? Remember your shit talking days back in the day where you tell your woman like outlandish shit you was gonna do to her in the bedroom? Like you, you tell her like before, like prepping her, like girl, we're, when you come in here tonight, bring a fucking lunch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna break your fucking back in here tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tear you up tonight. You better be ready. I'm gonna fracture your goddamn uterus in here tonight. <laughs> Some of y'all still like that. Y'all still, they still like that. They're like, shit, not me, not no more. You know? I realize that nowadays, like, how I get them done? Complete and utter honesty is the best way to go with your woman. Yes, fellas, so there's no disappointment. You know what I mean? I say, I walk in the bedroom nowadays, man. I sit on the edge of the bed. I look her dead in the eye. I say, look here, sweetie. Uh, I'm about to do the best I fucking can. <laughs> Shit. I'm about to give you all I got. That's I'm letting you know now. You know what I'm saying? And if that satisfies you, hey, cool, super, fabulous, superb. If not, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. We can try this shit again next month. Next month. Yeah. I told you, I'm all. I told you the more of the story. Got that? I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah, man. I can't take it, dude. Yeah, man. 
Any married folk in here? Where the married people at? Married. Make some noise. Make some noise. Yes. Yes. I love men. I'm, how long? How long? How long? Oh my God. Now they got to they they have a conference like that. You want to tell them? You want to tell them? Did you say five? Five. All right. Five. We'll go with that. Round of applause for five. Beautiful. Hey, put that time in. Yes, indeed, man. I'm scared of marriage, though. I'm scared. Yeah. I'm letting you know right now, I'm scared of marriage. I'm, I'm serious, man. Like, it, it's just, you know, I've seen a lot of stuff, man. Like, I'm scared of marriage. This is why I'm scared, though. This is why I'm scared. I'm scared of marriage because I'm thinking that at this point, like where I am now, I might fuck around and have, like, literally recorded the worst fucking marriage ever. Like the worst, like no marriage could be worse than the one I fucking may have. That's what I'm scared of, yeah. Like imagine this, imagine this scenario, just come with me for a second. Imagine this, fellas, coming home one night, like you come home one night, like from an awesome night of cheating. <laughs> I'm talking about a fucking f sensational. You've done some of your best fucking cheating on this night. You know what I mean? Like you, oh, you got it in. It's 4.55 a.m. Like you coming home. You know what I mean? Like you coming home. It's 4.55, you coming home. And guess what? You gotta put the key in the door like real soft. Like you don't wanna wake her up, right? So you don't, you doing all of this. Like you walk in, what's the first thing you do? What's the first thing you do? Take your shoes off, right? Cause you know your shoes make noise. Like, like take your shoes off, you step in. You trying your best cause you don't wanna wake her up, right? It's 4.55 and you know you in trouble. So you like kind of walking back there, and you creeping, and you get back to your room, and your wife ain't even fucking home yet. <laughs> <laughs> now you walking around like, where is this bitch at? I know she done lost her mind. <laughs> guess what, guess what? You done forgot that you ain't shit. You all are just that quick. Oh my God, that's the kind of marriage I'm scared that I'm going to have. <laughs> oh man, yes indeed. Before I get out of here though, man, I just want to, a little quick, a little quick, you know, a sidebar for everybody, because I know how we all as uh, human beings, like, you know, we like to kind of stereotype. It's one thing that we usually do. You know what I'm saying? You kind of look at somebody, just kind of stereotype. I think we should stop doing that, though. We should start, if you want to get to know somebody, and get to know them, figure out what's going on with them, and then you take it from there. Am I right? Round of applause for that. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Because that's what everybody does. It's human nature. I know you guys stereotype me when I came up. Yeah. You looked at me like, oh, man, I bet he, you know, he probably likes rap music, and you know what I'm saying? He's probably, you know what I'm saying, like R&B, whatever. But guess what? You'd be further far, couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a country and western guy, yeah. Oh yes, country and western, yeehaw, yes, goddammit. That's, that's me, yes, yes. You know what I like to do? Since I know where I like to play on people's stereotypes. I like to like go to the best country and western bar in the city, yeah. I go to the best country and western bar in the city, I bust in there, I just kick the door down, and I run right up to the damn stage, I take somebody's cowboy hat off and put it on, and guess what? I go into full concert on their ass. I bust in just like this, like, now I'm gonna love you forever. Forever and ever, amen. As long as old men sit and talk about the weather. As long as old women sit and talk about old men. If you're wondering if I'm gonna be faithful. I'll be happy to tell you again that I'm going to love you forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. Man, y'all ain't think I knew that shit, did you? Y'all ain't think I knew that. Hey, and this is what happens every time. Everybody comes up to me at the end, like, hey, I was worried about you when you came in, but goddammit, you're one of us. You're one of us. <laughs> Oh, Lord, yes. I'm happy y'all laughed at that, because that takes a lot. Before I get out of here, I was gonna let y'all know, I haven't done this the whole weekend, but I um, got a uh, super dope podcast that I do. It's called the Comedy Channel Podcast, featuring Melvin Williams. I interview some of the best comedians that's working throughout the country. You guys should check it out, man. Follow me on Instagram and all that stuff, and you can check it out. Thank y'all so much for coming. That's all of my time. Thank y'all so much for coming out. That's all of my time. My name is Melvin Williams.